today washers and dryers are more efficient at cleaning clothes using less energy and water than their predecessors. It wasn't that long ago, the mid-1990s, that high-efficiency washers started appearing in stores. Mostly appearing as front loaders, they used up to 80% less water than traditional top washers of that time and delivered up to 65% energy savings. In the early 2000s, high-efficiency top loaders started to appear offering the traditional look of the top loader with many of the benefits of the high-energy efficient front loaders. As more of these machines appeared in homes, so did complaints about foul loaders. With each wash cycle, mold would build up, generating odors that got into the clothes. In some cases, it got so bad that people had to literally junk their washers. Finally, there were some class action lawsuits against the manufacturers. The industry responded by redesigning the machines with less places for water to collect. And while this helped, the fact remains that because of their low water usage, detergent residue would collect, and that along with the dark and humid interior provided an excellent environment for mold, bacteria, and mildew to thrive in. Despite leaving the machines open to the air after each load, people were still noticing foul smell odors emitting from their machines. Home remedies included the use of vinegar, baking soda, and bleach. Commercial solutions had cleaning agents that could be introduced in the form of pods, cakes, and liquids that would be applied monthly. It wasn't until the manufacturers decided that the machines needed to be sanitized that things started to change. Unfortunately, these sanitizing features aren't well communicated to the consumer and are very easy to overlook. On this Samsung washer, this flashing light is the self-clean reminder. It will appear after the 40th wash cycle on a front loader after the 20th wash cycle. And although it will blink for an hour and will do so for the next six wash cycles, it doesn't tell you what to do. It's too easy for someone to just ignore it and continue using the machine. The correct procedure when noticing the flashing self-clean reminder light is to allocate at least four hours for the procedure with a front loader and one hour for the top loader. Why so long for the front loader? Being that most of the drum is not immersed in water, there's a lot of areas for the soap scum to build up in and thus the need for more time to make sure these areas get cleaned out. The self-clean mode works by applying hot water throughout the drum to remove bacteria, mold, and soap scum. This is all done without the use of any cleaning agents. To start the procedure, make sure the drum is empty, close the door, hit the power button, select self-clean and press start. Now, unless you like watching the drum spin, walk away and let it do all the cleaning for you. Note, you don't have to wait for the flashing reminder before using this function. At the first sign of odor, initiate the self-clean mode. Once the machine is done, you'll notice the drum is squeaky clean. Leave the door open to let the machine air dry. To lessen the chance of odor producing buildup in the machine, follow these simple steps. Avoid using fabric softener. I know there's a spot for it in the soap dispenser, but this can leave a residue that contributes to mold. Instead, use dryer sheets. Use the minimum amount of detergent needed to get your load clean. Excessive soap leads to quicker buildup and problems. After completion of the wash cycle, immediately remove all clothing. Again, we're looking to minimize moisture inside the machine. After the last load, leave the door or lid open to air out the unit. The less moisture inside the machine, the longer it will remain odor free. By the way, another odor producing area that is also neglected is the soap dispenser. Once a month, remove it, wash all the parts, along with the inside of the slide holder. And finally, drain and remove the washer pump filter, clean it free of any debris or money. If you need any assistance with these tips, visit the video links below in the description. I hope you found this video interesting or useful. If so, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.